was beautiful before yes and now it's changed mm. and we are really sad Until you see it with your own eyes, you know, there, there's no pictures or, or video that can really convey the, the scale of the issue up there. You know, it's in some cases largely a, a monoculture of buffalo grass near on as far as the eye can see. Um, buffalo grass was introduced in about that 1980s um, to suppress dust around the communities and it's done that pretty well, um, but since then it's, it's spread out from communities and it outcompetes the native grasses. We don't see real, real one, you know, a long time we had good grass, now it's only one, one grass. It's not even a grass, it's just an evil weed, because it ruins the ecosystem, it ruins the so little, the little young um, foods that are growing there, like Kambaravas are on the decline, we don't realise that. Um, and all the pretty flowers that we have, you know. Where buffalo is growing in lots of places, we don't have that anymore. What happens is when buffalo grass burns, the tops get burnt off, but it's got a really big root mass underneath. And uh, once the top gets burnt off, it's got those roots to come back quickly and it comes back really quickly. As opposed to the native grasses that have to come back from seed and might take a couple of years to come back, the buffalo grass can come back within weeks of being burnt. We try to kill them with the fire, they still come out. Oh. Oh, it's really strong grass, I don't know. Oh. Buffalo loves waro. It loves the fire. It goes, oh what, this is my friend and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> it, it actually um, burns plants and kills plants that under natural fire regimes and conditions would, would actually survive. They'd get a bit burnt, but they'd still come back after the fires. Obviously, if you're losing native plants from the system, that there's an, a, a flow-on effect to the, um, to the animals as, as well. So it's, it's been observed, particularly in the APY, significant reductions in um, birds, lizards, and, and a variety of other um, native species. It's hard to go hunting now. It's not like it used to be. And we are losing some cougar meat for animal. Some um, disappearing. I don't know where they go. The other com big component uh, in terms of fire is is the risk to communities, remote and um, and outback communities. Obviously, if you've got increased fuel loads, increased frequency of fire, then th there's potential for increased. Um, you know, impacts on, on humans. That's why we are making chemicals to poison them in every side. Herbicides are, are largely the best control option in terms of efficiency. There's also, you know, hand pulling in, in certain situations where there may be, um, you know, rare or threatened species that you certainly don't want any um, off-target damage to. <coughs> and another big component of buffalo grass management is hygiene, particularly in regard to vehicles. So, um, you know, make, making sure that where possible you, you avoid driving through any areas infested with buffalo grass, because obviously you will ultimately pick up seed and then and then transport that out potentially into uninfested areas. So 
Yeah, one of the big challenges in, in terms of, of management and AP, APY is, is not only the scale, um, but obviously funding and and manpower, ultimately. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's important, I think, for the communities to, to have ownership over the, the issue. Um, but obviously they need support in, in that, in, in terms of financial support for, for purchase of herbicides and equipment, those sorts of things. Um, but also training, you know, it's, it's a good opportunity for for APY communities to, you know, to be trained up and, and develop some skills that they can clearly see has a benefit back, you know, on, on country. Because people go and just grow like army. Because we want the money for all the young people to train. We want to come together and train in Kujunka and the Jungle. We want to train one people together and add a big army. We got to fight like army too and kill the proper Christ. Oh, wow.